Well, guys, I'm back. I am back to make history videos again. I am back to make history video history videos again. Um, thank you for your patience before that I've arch that I was archiving my grandfather's um, photographs. No, I did lose some subscribers because of it, but it is what it is. I I don't really I, I just do this for fun. I'm not doing this any money or clout. I just do it because I want to put them out there. So, but it is what it is. But for ones that actually is supporting me and that wants to stay and they want to uh, look into my videos, um, thank you guys so much for waiting. Um, I just now, I will do both. I will do both uh, making history videos and archiving my grandfather's um, pictures at the same time. So, um, so I'll try my best with that, see if, I, if it's possible for me to do that. Um, but I'm back to make a video, make another history video. Today we're going to be talking about the Meiji Restoration and the early Japanese Empire, how Japan became the, Japan went from a feudal country to an industrial one and made a huge powerhouse in the early 20th century and, and, um, pretty very interesting stuff there. So I will we'll be explaining it in this video. So, I hope you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the documentary. Japan's history reveals that it has been rarely been at peace for centuries. The imperial court and the warrior classes rushed for control. From the mid-15th to late 16th centuries, Japan was riveted by civil wars and by 1560 a handful of warring families viewed for supremacy. The emperor remained as a figurehead without power and three outstanding leaders is Obanamabunga, Tiyomi Hideyoshi, and Takagawa Liatsu, I'm sorry for the mispronunciation there, displayed superior military and tactics and shocking acts of brutality to unify Japan. Liatsu was made shogun in 1603 and it was recognized as the greatest power in the land. With Japan reunified, Liatsu's aim was to maintain control and all of foreign influences were discouraged and from 1635 Japanese subjects were unable to leave Japan and those J those Japanese who were left overseas at the time were refused re-entry. Christianity was banned and foreign, mer foreign merchants and missionaries expelled with its borders closed contact with outsiders could be strictly regulated by the shogun. For two centuries um, descendants of the Takagawa sh shoguns kept the peace and the population prospered but from the early 19th century, environmental and political troubles caused the shogun's grip on power to slip. Famines and earthquakes caused thousands of deaths and trade and within Japan widened the gap between the rich, poor, and foreigners sailed into Japanese waters. Since the country was closed to foreign visitors and trade, but in 1853 the American government sent Commodore Matthew Perry to Edo, which is nowadays Tokyo, in command of four warships, Perry demanded the opening of the Japanese ports for trade and making it clear he would return. Resistance seemed futile in the face of the superior naval power. In 1854, Perry returned with the largest fleet and the shogunate, the military rulers, signed the Treaty of Kakanagawa and Japan was forced to open its borders. Similar treaties with Britain, France, and Russia, and the Netherlands followed. They too were successful in demanding rights to trade, and Japan gradually lost control of its own custom duties. The Japanese people viewed these unequal treaties as 
humiliating and a series of rebellions brought nearly 700 rules of shogunate to an end, and following the Meiji Restoration. The new regime thought that Western ideas might make Japan stronger and more able to compete. A popular slogan of the day was Oitsuke Okasi, meaning catch, catch up overtake. Sorry for the, I hope I pronounced that right. The old feudal class system were reconstructed from samurai warrior, farmer, artisan, merchant to nobles, samurai descendants, and commoners. In 1873 was introduced so that all men, not just those from the noble class as previously, could join the military in 1877 in a further move towards westernization. The Tokyo University was established and employed several foreign teachers. A modern mint was set up, and in 1882, the Bank of Japan opened with a standard, standardized um, decimal currency based on the yen. And in 1889, the first formal constitution adopted outside of North America and Europe, and was, and was proclaimed. Perhaps the greatest symbol of Japan's modernization was the railway. The first was opened in October 1872, and within 15 years, 1,000 miles and or 1,600 kilometers of track had been laid. It had had a profound effect on the country and its economy. Suburbs grew as people now live away from their place of work, and the age of communing had begun in Japan. After years of turmoil, there was a revived sense of national identity and pride in Japan. The cry was not only Uzuke Okosi, but also Fuyuku Kuriahi, a rich nation, strong army. Japan was not to be toyed with, and in spring of 18, 1894, Korea called for, for military aid from China to put down a rebellion. China obliged, so did Japan. The rebellion was swiftly dealt with, but, but both sides had interest in Korea and stayed on. The Japanese were determined to fight and officially declared war on August 1st, and the first Sino and Japanese war had begun. In the battles that followed, Japan proved superior, especially at sea, the naval base at Port Arthur in Manchuria, on the north northeast coast of China, was seized in November, and the Chinese fleet destroyed at Weihai, an eastern province on Shandong. In February of 1895, the Treaty of Shimonoseki in, in April of 1895 saw China abandon its interest in Korea and cede territory to Japan, including Taiwan. Japan also gained rights in Manchuria, which had rich national resources of lumber, iron, oil, gold, and uranium. This was the first major step in Japan's empire building in Asia. Russia reacted by persuading the French and German governments that Japan should give up a stronghold in Manchuria because it caused instability. Japan bowed to pressure and reluctantly agreed when Russia refused to withdraw its troops from China following an uprising against the foreign alliance known as the Boxer Rebellion. The increasing tensions with Russia eventually erupted into war in 1904. Japan was now an impressive military force, while Russia was severely disadvantaged by the 1905 revolution. Japan was triumphant, and the ensuing Portsmouth Treaty signed in September of 1905 recognized Japan's interest in Korea and granted them occupation of the Liaodong Peninsula in Manchuria. Japan quickly established control over Korea and it disbanded the army and annexed the country in 1910 with no international opposition. Japan had succeeded in its aims and it was now taken seriously by Western powers. The unequal treaties which had caused so much bitterness were revised in full tariff customs control. Restored in 1911, and in the mere half of the 20, mere half of the century, Japan had gone from being a virtually dismissed as a backward country to a major world power. As Japan entered the 20th century, it seemed stable, 
But this soon change of economic depression and dissatisfaction with Japan's role in world affairs eventually led to a war. During World War I, industrial production grew, fivefold exports more than tripled in Japan. After the war, prices collapsed and economic recession and set in. Royal incomes fell sharply, and the gap between the rich and poor, city and countryside widened. Both the military and public became increasingly angry, and many blamed of the influence of Western ideas. Japan maintained as an e- uneasy relationship with foreign powers, and Japan attended the Versailles Peace Conference in 1919, where the victors of World War I met and negotiated peace treaties with the defeated Germany. But Japan did not always feel a true equal. In 1920, the Japan was one of the founding members of the League of Nations, which was set up to work towards disarmament and diplomacy. But it was upset that its proposal for a racial equality clause and the League's character was rejected. To, compa- to compound matters, the Washington Arms Limitation Treaty of 1922 limited Japan. To three warships compared to five American and five British. And after years of trying to gain respect abroad without success, the Japanese frustration with Westerners turned to contempt and fairly ambitious. Japan was set up on a path of confrontation with the Western powers. てくるぞと勇ましく誓って国を出たからは手柄立てずにしなりょうか新軍ラッパー聞くたびにまぶたに浮かぶ肩の波に土も草木も人燃える果てなき荒野踏み分けて進む日の丸鉄かぶと馬の盾が皆なでながら明日の命を誰が知る